Yeah, welcome everybody. This is the uh, first step to setting up your system so that it works. So before you create the click funnels in the template and before you create everything else, you need to set up your you can book me. And again, these steps go step by step. So you need to do step one, step two and step three on this page um, and then any other steps that we add subsequently in the future. But the first thing you're going to do is go to you can book dot me. And this is a free service. There is a paid upgrade, but you only need the free service and click on sign up. And when that happens, you're going to go right here and put in your email address. If you have an email address that's something like uh, Johnny1234, you might want to get a Gmail address that's something more simple. And I'm going to use sample book me at Gmail. You see, I already put it in here. When you click create an account, it's going to send you a registration. And you're going to go over to your email and click here to finish the registration process. You have to do this within 24 hours. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to tell you to create a password. Let's see. Wasn't sure if that was going to show you my password or not. All right, so it's got to be eight characters. They got to match, of course. Set our password. And you just created an account. Nice work. So you don't want the free trial with the paid plan. You want the free one forever, and you can always upgrade. Click on that, go to the next step, connect your chosen calendar. I don't even think I have a calendar connected, so I'm going to see if we can. Oh no, I'll just click one because it doesn't seem to give me any options here. Sample, you can book me. That's fine, we'll connect it to that. And I'll allow it. When you get a booking, it's going to come through to your email. So you'll know that you have a booking. So that's that's what I use. So let's say we are going to do Johnny Cash, Cash Enterprises. Select your sector. I don't think this matters, but we will choose. Let's choose business development. Agree to the terms and conditions. You can upload a logo right here if you want. It might make us do this. There's the checkbox. So we're going to agree to that. And we're all set up now. You'll choose your URL right here. I used my website when I set my original one up. Um, you can use whatever you want here. We use Cash Enterprises. I must be spelling that wrong. But no, it's because it's one word. That's okay. Go on to the next step. Welcome to your dashboard. That's fine. Okay. So we're going to go to edit settings. And you can go through this. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So this is all set up booking page title. You can put whatever you want in here. And you can go in here and now this is where you want to put any booking instructions. So Choose a time that is works for you. You can put whatever you want in there. These will change automatically. So we're going to start up at the top and just work our ways our way down. Calendar and Teams. I'm not going to worry about. I see when I have a booking with an email, and then I look at my calendar. Maybe I'm kind of old school. This is where you're going to set your times available. Now on the free one. You can't do you can't split the days up or the times up very well. But you know if if you work a job, you can do the mornings, you can do the evenings. So let's just say you're available from 6 p.m. You want to take appointments to 
8 p.m. Copy it to all. We don't want to work Saturday and Sunday. And you'll see over here on the live preview. Now when people go to your site, they can set things up however they want. Now you'll see that there's a different time reflected here. That is because it automatically sets to whatever the person's time time is. So if they're on Eastern Standard, then it's going to correlate with that. So it takes care of everything from even, you know, if it books an appointment with you at seven o'clock and it's two o'clock for them, they're going to get one saying, hey, you got an appointment at two o'clock. You're going to get something saying, hey, you have an appointment at seven o'clock. And it's going to connect those and make sure that those work. <clears throat> so you don't have to worry about that. Duration and display. I like to do um, 30 minute blocks. You know, most of your calls might take 10 to 20 minutes. But 30 minutes gives you a little bit of a buffer in there. Minimum booking notice. So you do not want to miss any bookings. But at the same time, you don't want people to have to book too far out. So I usually set this to one to two weeks. That way they can only go out a couple weeks. And I want to know, <clears throat> let's say, I usually don't do a day. So I want to know five hours in advance. Or, you know what, I'm really motivated. I'm going to check at five o'clock every day. I know I'll do that. So I'm going to just, they can book all the way up till five o'clock. All right. Week starts today. So it'll rotate through the week. That one's done. Appointment times. We've already done the availability. So you don't have to worry about that. Language and time zones. This is, I think that will pick up where you are automatically based on your IP address, but you want it to detect. I just would leave all this stuff. You don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Booking form, you want their first name, you want their last name, you want their email. I like to add some other questions. So maybe we want to have their phone number. Area code. You want to put that in there. Text after the question, I'll have that. Back to booking questions. So now we have phone number with area code. Another question, one that's on mine. Let me take a look real quick. I'm sorry, I got my computer behind me. So looking at your current situation. How much would you like to earn per month to satisfy your financial needs or goals? I just want to get them to give some information here because it gives you a little bit to talk about and it also kind of weeds out some people who aren't serious. So I have their first name, their last name, their email, their phone number. Maybe you want to move phone number up here. I've got a question right here. Again, let me look. You might ask, you know, some other questions. It's, it's up to you. Don't put too many questions. I would have at least one. And this information here, I even have on here, you know, I think I say something about or Skype ID. Zoom info. If you can get people to give you their Skype and their Zoom and you can talk to them face to face, kind of like you're seeing my face right here, your conversions will go up because they get to see that you're a real person. Um, so that's just something that you want to think about. If you're not comfortable with that, you can just leave it off completely. And at some point in the future, when we have a lot of people finding success with this, we're going to try to move over to an automated system where people sign up for your team and join your team first and then you'll call them but that's going to make conversions go down just by default so for right now 
when you're just getting started, this is the best way to do it. After booking, it has some information here and you can add some other stuff if you want. Let me take a look at what I have on my other one. Um, that's that's pretty much what I have right there. So payments, we're not selling anything, so you're not going to need that. And then notification and workflow. This you can look at, make sure these are all set the way that you want them to be set. And then go here to your, I'm going to close this out so I can see everything. All right, your live booking page. Let's take a look at what it looks like. It is now set to be offline. It's not live. So you don't want that. So I'm going to go back here and see where I set that up. So booking profile is offline right up here. So when you get everything set up, you're going to click on this. This will make your booking page visible to anybody. Here's the link. So when you get your, your funnel set up and you have your button, we'll copy that. And you can come back here anytime and check that link. But we're going to go online. So now we are live. All right. That's what you want. And then if you want your link, you can come here to the general section when you get to that point and you're creating your funnel. But that takes care of the you can book me. And I have you do this first because in the next step, you're going to start creating um, some of your other stuff. And you'll need to get this link and put it in some certain places. That means when somebody goes through our template that we have and you drive traffic to it, when they book an appointment, it's going to be booked with you. If you don't change this link out in there, and I'll show you how to do it, it's very simple. If you don't change it out, then it's going to end up booking an appointment with your sponsor or with me or whoever signed you up. So you want to make sure that you change that out. And just imagine, if you can imagine, I like to equate it kind of to a car. If, if you want to get in a car and you want to drive to California from Florida, right? And, and somebody sells you a car and one of them has a key and you can get in the car and drive right now, but maybe it's not a Ferrari and the other one's a real nice Ferrari or high class speed car, but it doesn't have a key and you can drive it to California. But first you have to figure out how to create a key and get the key to work in the ignition and get the ignition to start and get the car started and moving. That's kind of how it is when people come into network marketing. A lot of times they know it's the vehicle that can get them where they want to go. But unfortunately, they don't have a key. And the person that sponsored them didn't have a key that they can make a copy of. So this whole system, imagine people are contacting you. They're requesting an appointment. And yes, you're offering a network marketing company. But what you're really offering is a car with a key a system that they can get into and that will drive them to their destination. It'll help them enroll people. It'll help their people enroll people. So there'll be duplication. And that's what makes this system so powerful. So we've made it as, you know, one of the things in network marketing is people talk about, well, it needs to be something that can duplicate. And so we dumb down things and we simplify things. And in the end, we don't have very good systems. So we've tried to make this as simple as possible but still make it something that everyone can use and get results from because talking to more people, if they're not the right kind of people is really going to waste a lot of time, cause a lot of frustration. So this is the first step. Once you get this set up, I encourage you to do as many of these. If, if you just got started, get this all set up as soon as possible and as fast as possible, get your whole system up and running and then you can go back and start learning about the company, learning about the products, learning about all that. They're great products. It's a great company. But if you get swamped down in learning about all that stuff without getting appointments booked, then you're going to just spin your wheels and be in the same situation that you were before. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next video.